Hi guys, LookFuck here and welcome to the FIFA 19 player review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 87 rated flashback SBC Kevin Prince Boateng. He's got a fantastic looking card and it did cost me roughly 150,000 coins to complete his SBC and in the four games that I played him with he scored me two goals and got me two assists and he does have a four star weak foot as well as four star skill moves. And moving along into his in-game stats, his main standard stats are going to be his 89 shot power, his 87 ball control, his 87 short passing and finally his 88 volleys. Before we get any further into the video, a quick shout out to G2A who I have recently partnered up with. Uh, feel free to go and check them out. A link to them will be in the description if you guys want any cheap uh, Xbox, PSN points, cheap games obviously with Christmas just around the corner and Footmas due to start in like the next 7 to 10 days probably. So make sure you kind of uh, try to stock up on those and use the link in the description. Also guys, thank you very much for over 100,000 views for the month of November. Can you believe that? 100,000 which is just absolutely insane to me like um I, i'm trying to like work as hard as i can right now to really kind of turn youtube into a really really serious hobby and uh, i'm just loving it and i'm loving all the support that you guys have been giving me it's absolutely fantastic and i'm going to try to continue to work as hard as possible uh throughout the rest of fifa 19 anyway guys focusing on kevin prince bow attend this car looks absolutely fantastic now unfortunately i couldn't fit him into a starting 11 purely because i don't have a Ghanaian. I got a Ghanaian team, I think I pronounced that right, and I also don't have a Syria team either, so I had to use him on the bench and just sub him on for Fernandinho, like in the first minute of the match, but that was fine, and I have to say, I really, really enjoyed him getting to his first prime, is going to be his passing, two assists in four games was a good return, his passing stats are absolutely fantastic, 87 short passing, 83 long passing, 86 curve, AC vision isn't quite the best, but you can always put a chem style to increase that vision if you wanted to as well, and uh, yeah, I have to say, his passing was really, really nice overall, his second prime is going to be his strength, he's at the height of six one which is a fairly tall height he's also got the 84 jumping 75 stamina 86 strength which is fantastic and 91 aggression it was one of his um you know kind of more common ways of being able to regain possession of the ball you know being able to hold possession you can just hold on to the lt on the xbox controller and uh opposition players would really find it hard to get the ball off him so i have to say when it came to his strength he was absolutely fantastic and his final pro is actually going to be his finishing he got me two goals in the four games from a sentiment field position which i thought was quite impressive 84 attack positioning, 81 finishing isn't quite the best, and I think that's a little bit harsh on Boateng, I think his finishing should be higher than 81, obviously you can put up a uh, once again a chem style to increase his finishing if you wanted to, but I actually found it to be pretty decent also his 89 shot power, 82 long shots, 88 volleys are also very very nice, and obviously you know, if this was a striker, then it probably wouldn't be like, I probably wouldn't be putting down his finishing as being like a main pro, but from the position where he's playing from and the stats that he's got, I found his position to be actually very, very good. So I am going to put it down as a pro. There's no cons to the card. A few more things to note on. Personally, I'd actually play this guy as a cam, not a centre mid or a CD. And the reason being is because I just found his attack of play to be more just better in general than defensively his tackling isn't like bad but I didn't notice it to be out of this world at the same time his interceptions aren't too bad at 79 but his 86 tackling for stand tackle and 82 slide tackle didn't feel great in games so personally I think you should be playing this guy as a cam I think you get the real good benefits and of his attacking uh, pros to this card and that's what I would personally be playing him would I recommend doing the SPC for 150,000 coins roughly on Xbox you get a mega pack and a prime gold players pack in return um, the answer is yes. I think he's really, really good. There's not too many good cam players at the moment from the Syria either. So I reckon he'd be a really, really good player for that position in your Syria teams or, or wherever you, you know, whatever team you set to play him in. So yes, I do think he's worth doing. And I have to say, I was impressed with this guy. And I'm going to try to continue to use him as a super sub, uh, you know, just an up game, uh, upcoming foot rival games and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, that's going to finish off this play. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.